helicopter is glad not to be a steam engine. He is much happier flying in the sky than racing along road or rails. One morning, the engines were busy preparing for the vicar's annual fate. I'd like to help, called Harold, but I'm on patrol. He was looking for engines that might be in trouble. Meanwhile, the engines puffed to and fro with their loads for the fate. Percy was delivering deck chairs and decorations, tables and tea urns and reminders. Don't forget to come to the vicar's fate. Thanks for the invitation, called Harold, but duty called, and he whirred away. Harold was landing at his airfield to get more fuel when he saw Pegasus, a cart horse that lives close by. Pegasus was getting ready to give rides to children. He had a shiny leather harness and a freshly painted cart. was beginning to feel left out of the celebrations. He wished more than ever that he could help. Thomas puffed in with some passengers. Where are you going next? buzzed Harold. To the vicar's face, of course. Isn't everyone? Everyone except me, replied Harold. I'm on duty. Yes, indeed, said Thomas kindly. Being a rescue helicopter is important work. <sighs> but no one needs rescuing, sighed Harold. Then came the surprise. Harold's pilot received an urgent call from the fact controller. Pegasus is stuck in a ditch. If he doesn't get to the vicar's fate, the children will be disappointed. You must rescue him at once. All set and ready for action, reported Harold. Pegasus, wondered Percy. That's a funny name for a horse. It's the name of a flying horse in a very old story, explained the fat controller. Flying horse? exclaimed Percy. Horses can't fly. He felt very clever. Harold flew to the rescue as fast as he could. What happened? He asked Thomas. We were loading the cart. Pegasus wandered off into the ditch, silly horse. Now he's stuck. If you can take him, I can take the cart. I'll put Pegasus in my sling. We need to hurry, whistled Thomas. The fate is about to begin. Soon Harold's pilot had fitted Harold's sling under Pegasus. Then Harold gently lifted him into the air. And carefully carried him across the fields. When Percy saw Pegasus flying through the sky, he was amazed. Flatten my funnel, so horses can fly after all. The children cheered for Harold. He had saved the day. Soon Pegasus was hitched up to his cart. The fate was a big success, and the children had a wonderful time. Harold was happy. He stayed on duty and had fun at the fame too. <laughs>